good day. I wanted to talk about, is this my book? My book under the couch. Anyway, I wanted to talk about masculine and feminine energies because I saw my dog, my puppy, humping. The girl dog was humping the boy dog, and this was new to me. And it just hit me like, no matter the gender or the physical body that we may be in, sometimes our energies within that body is conflicted has been distorted, has been mis- misappreciated or unappreciated rather, has been misrepresented, has been mistreated. So for example, if you're a man and being vulnerable, talking, loving, caring, opening up is not a comfortable place for you, maybe your feminine energy within you was mistreated, distorted, and abused. Coming up, growing up, your adult life, somewhere in your journey it happened. And instead of fixing it, healing it, clearing it, you kept on moving. You kept on covering it up like you was okay, like society expected you to do. And even with the feminines, with with a woman, we may be in a woman avatar, but our masculine energy is more comfortable for us because our feminine energy wasn't appreciated. It wasn't treated right. We love the wrong people. We gave too much love. And in return, that person or those people looked at us as weak, too nice, naive, gullible. So you know what we did with that feminine energy? We put it up. We put it up in the closet, file cabinet. Some of us boxed it up and shipped that shit away to where now that woman is only comfortable being in her masculine energy. Is it right? Is it your fault? No. But it's just an understanding. Does not mean I've had a man who told me, oh, you're too much in your masculine energy. But but refused to take the time to realize that they probably didn't appreciate my feminine, nice, caring side. See, some of us are healed enough to understand that if you're not appreciating what I'm giving, I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to match your energy. I'm not going to keep figuring out what is wrong, why you're not being a friend, why you're not opening up. I'm going to pull my energy back, manifest an exit, manifest a change, manifest better, and keep moving. That's what happens when you heal. Only people that are not healed resort to graveyard magic, love spells. They bury stuff, try to cross your roads. All those things have done been done up against me. And I used to feel like, woe is me. Nobody believe me. Nobody understand what I'm going through, right? Until I understand the light, the purpose, the seat at the table that I have, the divinity that I have, the caring, good heart that I have, not tooting my own heart. I'm no better than anyone, but I'm valuable. And when you're valuable spiritually, a lot of things come up against you. Bigger, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So sometimes, not saying because you're light-skinned, you're not sweet, but sometimes the darkness you go through is because of the juice that you have in you. So you have to tap into masculine energy. You have to tap into physical, feminine energy. We got to balance the two. This is why it's not not mature and it's not healthy to judge other people from an outside point of view. It takes a very courageous, educated, responsible, mature person to understand Hey, I might not understand. Let me look the other way or let me try to offer support where I don't understand. Let me try to learn something new today. So when the next time, if you're a feminine and anyone tries to make you feel like you're masculine, there's too masculine and they're not nurturing that feminine in you. Take that insult or take that compliment, however you receive it, with a grain of salt. Let them know whatever, because if you're not putting in towards the, 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 the solution, don't bring my problems to me. That's like a teacher telling you what's wrong, but they can't help you with the problem on the board. It don't work. Don't receive that energy. Some people only want to belittle you, point out your flaws because they really see your light. So they figure if I point out your flaws to you, you won't see the light that I see. So you have to stay vigilant. You have to stay, you have to stay goon-like. Keep that, that warrior, survivor, soldier mentality like I wish a nigga would because this little light of mine, I sung it all the time in church. Yes, you got to let it shine. You know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to seek the knowledge. You got to continue to fight. You got to continue to pray. You got to continue to meditate. I'm not a fan of fasting. I have not. I'm not going to sit here and act like I fast all the time. I need to get my fasting game up. I'm a little weak when it comes to fasting because I want to eat what I want to (laughs) eat. But on today, on this, what's today, Thursday? 
Thursday. <laughs> I want you guys to understand that. Hey, peace. Look how Friday sneak up on me. Eh, eh. I know I get paid this week, but I already get paid. So that's why. Only time you be knowing is Friday when the deposit hit on the morning. But you know, sometimes you get paid a little earlier. So I'm thinking it's Thursday. It's Friday. Eh, eh. Okay. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you stay uplifted. Keep your crowns on and understand. Be a little comfortable in yourself. Don't let nobody come through and give you a diagnosis, especially if they don't have a medical doctor behind their name. They don't have that MD. They don't even have the spiritual doctor name, the spiritual doctor um, initials behind their name. So don't let anybody come diagnose you and give you things and they don't understand why you are the way you are. Most of us don't want to be in our feminine energy with everybody because it's not appreciated. It's, it's looked at as gullible, naive, too nice, simple, weak. And it's the same way how you men feel. But it's a time that we have to understand that we have both those energies in us. Too mad, if you're in a feminine energy and you're a man, you don't want to make the initiative. You don't want to open up. You don't want to take the lead. That's masculine energy. You can't take the lead emotionally, mentally, and and, and physically. Then you are in feminine energy. So now you want a, a feminine woman who has masculine and feminine who's balancing the two to come approach you, come fix the problem, come talk to you. That's masculine energy. You just said you didn't want her to be in masculine energy. The feminine waits and, and, and receive energy. We don't go out and chase and do you. We align when you're a healed feminine. You realize that I don't have to chase anything. I don't have to go prancing around in my skirt and my costume like, hey, look at me. I can sit on my throne and wait, manifest, get in the energy of what I want. This is why people resort to spell work. And I'm going to always talk about it in all of my videos. I'm always going to bring awareness to it because I went through it for a reason. People have been coming up against me for a reason. Not because they don't like my skin color. Not because my body look better than theirs. That's minor to a big dog. The reason why is because of my light, my divinity. They allow the dark side to put the key in them because they don't know that the dark side sees something they can't see. They thinking it's just, oh, yeah, I deserve to do this to this person. This person did this back and back and back, and I'm going to do this to this person. Not realizing that they creating their own karma with messing with some one of God's child. You create your own karma. Now, your whole life, your kid's life, they got karma to fill out. Sometimes we go through stuff our parents put us put us through unknowingly, and we have to break the curses. It's the same way with people in now. They have children. They have kids, and they're doing these things, and their children have to go through it. Sometimes they don't even care because it's all a control. They want what they want. They don't want nobody to live better than them, nobody to have a better relationship than them, nobody to have the shine. And that's the wounds that you have to fix within yourself. No matter how pretty or how well made you can look on the outside, if you're not fixing your soul, you will be. You can be hijacked. You can be subject to the, de the enemy putting the key in your back. So that's why it's, it's important to know thyself. Chase the kingdom of God, know thyself, thy worth, and thy mission. Then you get to the bag. Then you work hard for somebody else. Then you put all your energy into somebody else's company. That ain't your company, but you put in all your energy, your health, everything, every blood, sweat, and tears. Then you come and you give God a little crumb. We got to stop that. We got to do better. I'm not better. I'm not there yet, but I'm realizing my flaws. And even though some people would like to tell you, oh, work on yourself. I've had somebody try to tell me that. Work on yourself. Focus on yourself. I'm here to tell you when you when you part of the kingdom of God, you're not fully healed until you go back to the kingdom of God till you ascend. That's my opinion. So why are you here on this dimension in this 3D form? You have things to learn, things to change, karmas to serve. You have generational curses to break. You don't have time to just be sitting out here worrying about just you. It ain't always about just you. What about the ones behind you, next to you, in front of you? It's a teamwork. Teamwork make the dream work, right? But people only like to say that when it comes to the bag, the bills, the money, the 3D aspect. What about spirituality? What about praying for somebody without telling them you pray for them? What about, what about lighting a candle for somebody healing? What about those things? So if you're not in that, 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 that team that has that, change your mindset. There's supposed to be a, 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 a video about masculine and feminine energies. I don't know how I got here, but hopefully this message received to you and you was able to use it and apply it because that's what it's about. Don't wait till you get to the glory land for you to want to throw back all your jewels like, hey, I don't need it. I'm here. I done made it. It ain't always about that because we didn't read about Jesus getting to the promised land and then he went and looked for disciples. While he was without, while he was ridiculed and talked about, he went and helped so don't let people tell you something and they're not even from HR of the kingdom. I'm not from HR. So trust your intuition. Pray and ask. 
Okay? Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Hope this video finds you in great times, even if it's not the weekend. <sighs> Pieces.